Uganda is pursuing an infrastructural and economic growth and development through its National Development Plan, Vision 2040. Whereas that is the strategic plan for the country, questions abound as to why Uganda is slow in fully exploiting the opportunities presented by the China-led Belt and Road Initiative. We spend more on debates. We take long to debate and agree on the way forward. And this front-back, front-back play is making Uganda to go slower than other countries. Announced by the Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2013, Belt and Road seeks to bridge the infrastructure gap and thus accelerate the economic growth across Europe, Asia and Africa, similar to the old-time Silk Road policy. The One Belt and One Road initiative is all about how business globally should be connected. It can be connected through road, it can be connected through rail, it can be connected through aviation. The Intebe Express Highway and the Intebe International Airport upgrade are some of the practical infrastructure projects achieved by Uganda with Chinese support. Ugandans, if they love their country, they have really to get onto board and, and, and align Uganda with this initiative in order to have the current benefits that other countries are already enjoying. Delegates from China are meeting in Kampala with stakeholders from Makere University-based Confucius Institute to discuss the vision of the China-Africa relationship under the One Belt, One Road initiative. As Makere University, it has a lot of advantages and potential because through that project we can extend our research collaboration with the Chinese universities. Whereas world economic powers are adopting protectionism and inward-looking economic policies like the Brexit and the trump led make America great again, China, on the contrary, seeks to open to the world for mutual economic benefits through the Belt and Road Initiative. Africa is a key partner in building the Belt and Road Initiative. All countries from either Asia, Europe, Africa or America can be international cooperation partners of the Belt and Road Initiative. David Matovu for UBC Business.